Dear students, today we are going to discuss about free space optics. What do you mean by free space optics or FSO? FSO is a line of sight communication technology and here we are using light waves to transmit the data and here we will be transmitting the data through the free space or vacuum or something similar wirelessly and that means we will be transmitting data for telecommunication and computer networking purposes and basically FSO is a line of sight technology and it uses lasers to provide optical bandwidth connections that means for the information transmission the light should be produced through some light sources we may use LEDs or lasers for this purpose Currently, the free space optics is capable of up to the data rate 2.5 gigabits per second. Mm, that means uh, the 2.5 gigabits of data, voice and video communications through air mm, that allows optical connectivity without requiring fiber optic cable or securing spectrum licenses. That means uh, the main advantage is that uh, in the case of free space optics is that uh, here we doesn't need fiber optic cable. That means we will be transmitting data wirelessly with the help of light and it has got some licenses that is uh, spectrum licenses also and this free space optics operate between the 780 to 1600 nanometer wavelength bands and it uses optical to electrical and electrical to optical converters and here FSO requires light which can be focused by using either the light emitting diodes or lasers. Lasers means light amplification by stimulated emission of radiations. And we have gone through the details of LEDs and lasers in the previous videos. And the use of the lasers is a simple concept similar to optical transmission using fiber optic cables. So here the only difference is that the medium is different comparing to the wired connection of optical fiber cables. So the light travels through the air faster than here we are utilizing the concept that uh, the light travels through the air faster than it does through the glass. So it is fair to classify fr fr free space optics as optical communication at the speed of light. So since we are utilizing the air as a medium and uh, light can travel um, uh, through the air very fast uh, so we can say this free space optics as optical communication at the speed of light and here uh, free space optics or FSO communication is considered as an alternative to radio relay link line of sight that is LOS communication systems. FSO components are mainly transmitter, channel and receiver and here the channel is free space transmission channel. Transmitter is used to send um, of optical radiation through the atmosphere or by say Beer Lambert's law. And free space transmission channel means there exists a turbulent eddies. When we are utilizing such type of channels, there will be uh, some risk of presence of the cloud, rain, smoke, some gases, temperature variations, fog and aerosol, etc. And we have to consider all these things in the reception process. And at the side of receiver, it is used to process the received signal. And the typical links are between 300 meter to 5 kilometer length and although longer distances can be deployed such as 8 to 11 kilometers are possible depending upon the speed and the required availability. The main applications of this FSO is telecommunication and computer networking and point to point line of sight links temporary network installation for events or other purpose as disaster recovery useful for communication between spacecraft including elements of satellite constellation and it is used for security applications military applications that means its potential uh, for low electromagnetic emanation when transferring sensitive data for air forces we are using this line of sight communication by using op free space optics Metro network extensions uses this technology that is carriers can deploy FSO to extend the existing metropolitan area fiber rings to connect new networks and it can be used useful for enterprise connectivity that the ease with which FSO links can be installed makes them a natural for interconnecting local 
area network segments and that are housed in buildings separated by public streets or other right of way properties that means for connecting the lands we can use this Mm, uh, free space optics technology and mm, fiber backups that is fso may also be deployed in redundant links but to back up the fiber in place of a second fiber link and uh, fso can also be used to carry cellular telephone traffic from antenna tower back to facilities wired into the public switched telephone network and it provides service acceleration that means uh, fso can also be used to provide instant service to fiber optic customers while their fiber infrastructure is being laid and uh, in the case of last mile access it, in today's cities more than 95 percentage of the building do not have access to the fiber optic infrastructure due to the development of communication systems after the metropolitan areas. So FSO technology seems a promising solution to the connections of end users to the service providers or to other existing networks. FSO provides high speed connections up to gigabits per second that we have discussed in the first slide which is far more beyond the alternative systems. The advantage of this FSO technology is it is mm, its distance is uh, up to 8 kilometer and high bit rate or uh, data speed is available and high bandwidth capability um, of the fiber optic cable is 2.5 giga f oh, sorry it is not the fiber optic cable Hi this uh, free space optics is 2.5 gigabits to 10 gigabits per second and we, here we can also utilize the wavelength division multiplexing in order to increase the band or improve the bandwidth Mm, see, uh, when we are using wavelength division multiplexing, modern uh, systems can uh, handle up to 160 signals uh, uh, for uh, single transmission. And immunity, uh, it has got immunity from electromagnetic interfaces. It is more secure and it cannot be detected with RF meters or spectrum analyzer. And it is very narrow and directional beams um, are using in this case of uh, um, uh, free space optics. So uh, it is very difficult to detect it with RF meters. So secure, it is more secure compared to the other systems. And it is also invisible and eye care, um, that means uh, no health hazards um, will be provided uh, by using this FSO uh, cases and it provides low bit rates, low bit error rates and uh, it provides the uh, deployment of FSO systems um, is very easy and um, it has got low maintenance cost um, because in the case when we are we have discussed about the uh, fiber optic cables um, uh, the maintenance uh, is very difficult uh, but here uh, it has got low maintenance and lower cost as compared to fiber networks that means when comparing to the fiber optic cables fso costs are um, uh, one by fifth of the fiber network costs and uh, license free long range operation is provided by um, uh, this fso that's all about this topic thank you